welcome to the game of stones so i get a lot of questions asking about my tools that i use so in this piece of content i'm going to talk you through them and i'm going to show you what's in my tool bag so this is just a little demonstration of my tools what i use and why i use them so first up is my riley two and a half inch tungsten pitching tool That is the cutting edge, that is the striking edge. The striking edge is 25 mil in diameter, and I believe it's 205 mil from top to bottom. That one is brand new, it's not being used. Next up is my other two and a half inch tungsten Riley. I always alternate my chisels, so as you can see, that one is freshly sharpened. And if you look along the cutting edge, you'll see how I use that part of the chisel more than that part. That's because when I'm backing off, I obviously use that bit more. Next up is my other tungsten two and a half inch Riley. And this one is pretty much brand new. As you can see the amount of tungsten that it has left on it. But I've been using this for a couple of days. So can you see how it's starting to round over? Like after today, I won't use that anymore. So in front of me, we've got my three Rileys that I use. And this one is my old Riley tungsten two and a half inch. And you can see how I've worn it right down to the bottom. To the point where if I use that again, it'll fall out. That just shows how they wear down over time. So we've got a brand new one there to the left. One that is a couple of months old there. Let me swap them around so they're looking in a better order. And there. So in front of you, got me four Rileys. Brand new one. One which has just started being used. Other quite new one and a really old one. And because I keep mine sharp, a lot of people use them right down to there. But I prefer personally cannot use them once they get to that point so i have to keep them sharp and even that now even though i don't use it it's still sharp just in case i need to use it so is my trusty riley three and a half pound punch walling hammer this one is quite old it's the only one i've got with me currently and as you can see the face is quite worn there and it's also quite worn there i do have my other hammers but i do not have them with me the shaft is 12 inches long and it's made of hickory. Next up is my brick bolster by Faithful. And I use this sporadically when I'm cleaning granite sets off, just helps take the tar off. I also use it for flags and help tell a little bit off the flags. Still nice and sharp, it's not being used very long. My old one is in the car. Next up is my three inch pitching tools. These ones are all quite worn down. See that there? That's not got a lot of life left in it because recently I've had to use it for backing off. So I don't use it that much at the moment. This is my other three inch. So as you can see, they are both at their limits. I will not get a lot of life left out of them. This is my other three inch, which has got Still got a lot of left life in the tungsten, but it's short on the shank. But if you look very closely, there, can you see it? There's a fracture. And that fracture is my own fault. Because if you see my other content, you'll see me doing a task called nicking and breaking, where you slide the chisel underneath, place the stone on top, and then tap it with your hammer, and that cause that so next up while we're talking about nicking and breaking i will show you my nicker this is a riley three inch fire sharpened nicker and these are designed for splitting stone with or nicking stone i've not used this very long i only picked it up the other day but as you can see it's very sharp 
a lot of people who own them make the mistake by trying to sharpen them themselves. These can only be sharpened under heat, hence the name fire sharpened, because they've been needed to be heated up to a certain temperature in order to stay sharp. Not least is my Riley four inch pitching tool. Now this one is still quite new and I only use this for new stone. I do not use it for reclaimed stone because if I did, it has got two pieces of tungsten carbide in it, which each is two inches long. So if I used it for reclaimed stone, I wouldn't have a straight cut when I was trying to back it off. Therefore, it would fracture the tungsten and the tungsten would fall out. I hope you've liked seeing the selections of chisels that I use. If you've got any other questions, please drop it in the comments below. And once again, thanks for watching.